Hey, how's it going guys? So here we have the finals of the Baldwin Park League Cup. Uh, on our right we have Jackie and on our left we have Manuel. Uh, Jackie's playing Granbull. Uh, really good deck choice. Uh, I feel deck, I feel Granbull is very strong in the format. It just needs to be piloted well. Uh, and Manuel's playing Becephaloth. Um, Becephaloth. But that, 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 that. <laughs> I can't say it. Cake Pop or um, Lollipop. It has a lot of different names because no one can really say its name. But yeah. So uh, we're going to see this match right now. Jackie did get a Mulligan, so Manuel did draw an extra card. Uh, Manuel is going to go first. He did open a Lele. That's actually not that great for him. Uh, but we're going to see if he can play around it and get out of this. So he does go Mysterious Treasure and goes for a Mars Shadow. We see Energy on Lele. And we're going to see Lily for three. Jackie fixing his deck because your deck has to be in the right direction. <laughs> Another Mysterious Treasure from, from Manuel. And we're going to see... Uh, Marshadow being played and the Broken of Shuffle and Draw 4. And we do see the pre evolution of Naganadel uh, on the bench as well. <clears throat> so, drawing 4 isn't necessarily bad for Jackie. That's actually what he wants. He wants his hand size to go down so he's able to pull off Gramble easier. So, yeah. So, we do see Choice Ben on Lele and passes. So, Jackie does draw for a turn. Jackie trying to figure out what he wants to play. We do see an Ultra Ball from him. Goes for a Snubble. We're going to see a Guzma bringing up the Marshadow, getting it stuck in the active. Uh, we're gonna He's going to Ranguru for three. We do see a Nest Ball. Probably going to go for another Ranguru. Hmm, interesting. I would think he'd go for another Snubble. But I guess it's easy to set up another Snubble, uh, knowing that this Snubble is not going to be affected. Does go for Ultra Ball. He goes for Slugma. So pretty much, Jackie's already, like, Jackie has a really great start this match. Um, he has two Rangaroos and a Slugma. Uh, next turn, he just has to go for the Macargo, and that pretty much just lets him have control of the matchup. So we do see Choice Ban and Energy on the mar active Marsh Shadow. Uh, did see another Lily. Naganadil has been played. So there is an active Naganadil on the bench. Naganadil uses ability, pushes an energy on it. Manny trying to figure out what he wants to do. He ends up, oh, look like he passed. Yeah, he ends up passing. Uh, Jackie draws for turn and then goes to Ranguru for two. Uh, Field Blower gets rid of the choice pen in the back. Energy on the Slugma. Uh, Ranguru for two. Uh, Nest Ball into Snubble. And passes. So the thing about Grambo, like lots of people think it's a very aggressive deck. It's not. It's a very technical deck. You kind of want to plan out your turns accordingly. Uh, you want to be able to position yourself where you're getting good knockouts, correct knockouts. So yeah, uh, if you just knock out everything in front of you, that kind of puts you in a weird, awkward position. So yeah. So Naganadel's effect puts an energy on top of, puts an energy from the discard pile on Naganadel. We do see Lollipop come down. Energy on the Lollipop. Uh, retreat from the Marshadow, bringing up uh, the Lollipop. And then Energy Switch, so it does have two energies on it now. Uh, it's going to use its effect, or it's going to use its attack uh, to remove two energies 
to the lost zone and get a knockout. I would do so Ranguru active, snubble on the bench, energy on the snubble. Jackie spinning that one card trying to figure out what he wants to do. Uh, goes for Guzma into snubble, Ranguru for three. They get the ground ball off of that Oranguru. We do see the nest ball and another nest ball. So he's probably going to grab one and fail the other one. Yeah, goes for the ditto. And gets the knockout on the Nagana Dale. Takes a prize. There is no need for him to do another Oranguru. So yeah. And Manu kind of questioning like, oh, you still have a card in hand. It's the card that I took for my prizes. <laughs> So Manu brings up Marshadow active, energy on Bicephalot, and then Ultra Space. Goes for uh, Pre-evolution of Nagana Del. Did you see Guzma brings up Oranguru? I don't think I would have brought up the Oranguru. I think the, the Slugla is a, Slugma is a little more threatening. So yeah. Uh, he ended up using his GX and got a prize from his prize pool. Um, Jackie here uh, instructed. Uh, we are seeing Pokenab. Ranguru for two. Gets the two cards that he wanted because of Pokenab. Rescue Stretcher. We're going to see Snubble back into the deck. No need to bring it into your hand. And passes. So we're going to see Ultra Space from Manual. Manual going for Nagana Del. Uh, ends up confusing it or burning it. Jackie plays Choice Fan, Ranger for one. Uh, Tate and Liza, uh, Ranger for one. Ultra Ball gets McCargo. McCargo puts a card on top of his deck. At this point, he has no cards in hand, so he's going to get a knockout here. And he already set up for next turn, which is busted. So this deck just, it's so good, but it's so hard to pilot. I would see Beast Ring, which is spicy tech from Manuel. Um, so he's going to get two energies on an Ultra Beast. He's going to put them on the Nagana Del. Or, or on the Bacephalop, sorry. <coughs> Uh, Nagana Del's effect, get an energy on it. He's not at three prizes, so he's not using the full force of his attack. But we're going to see. He hasn't played a supporter, so he might have a Guzma. Might be able to target this Ditto. Does go for the Guzma. Brings up the Oranguru. Energy on Bicephalot. And burned. Still burned. So, Jackie draws. Jackie counting 
So it goes for my cargo. Grabs a card, put gonna put it on top of the deck. Goes for shrine. Goes for Rangu for one. Pal pad goes for Guzma. Uh, and Tate and Liza. Uh, Apricot Maker. Going for Great Ball Ultra Ball. Rolls for burn and passes. So it's Manuel's turn. Manuel kind of taking control of this matchup. Unfortunately, he is top decking, so that's not very good for him. Manu has to kind of figure out that he has to play around that ground ball. He has to either wait to get a knockout on the ground ball and not go for an, a knockout here because the ground ball just comes up and punishes him. But yeah, as we're going to see right now. So we do see the ultra ball for my cargo. Cargo for one. And he does get a knockout on the Bicephala. And because he's at three, Naganadale gets a knockout on the Gramble. Uh, we see Jackie top deck Guzma and reveals that he has a knockout. So that is game one. Jackie takes game one, so they're going to go into game two. I just wanted to state that it's kind of great to see the format where it is now, you know? Like, before, it was just like the same two decks would be in top cut, you know? And then an expansion would come out, and those decks would just get better. <laughs> like, there was no... There just wasn't any diversity. It was just like the same decks over and over again, you know? But now, uh, because of how each set brings in new new stuff new mechanics uh and kind of the format's kind of getting like a, a soft reset so because of that we do get to see all these new decks come out and shine and do what uh they're meant to do so i like i like what the format is at right now it's kind of it's it's weird but it's okay but yeah anyways so we're on to game two uh, we do see Manuel start us off. He is he did start off with two pre-evolutions on Naganadel. Uh, he does go Mysterious Treasure for another one. And we are going to see Lily. And he's going to draw, I think that was five cards. Which is always great. So we do see four Naganadels. I think, I think Manuel has now learned that trying to use his GXs to um, dominate this match is not the way to go. Uh, having one or two of them does help out. So he does play one of the Bacephalops and he's going to go Marsh Shadow for four. So I think he's he's realized the, the key to winning this matchup is attacking with the baby uh, the Ganadels because it's only one price. So you're just trading one for one. And if he's smart, he'll target Orangaroos and Macargos to slow down Jackie's engine. So he does Marsh Shadow passes. So no energy attachments or anything like that. We do see uh, Death Ball from Jackie. Probably going to go for a Rangaroo. There it is. It's, it's very, very important that in this matchup, you take care of the Rangaroo. You take care of Slugma as soon as you can. Uh, deal with a Ditto if you can. Because Ditto just gives the, the your opponent so much versatility. So yeah, so we do see bodybuilding dumbbells from Jackie. We do see an energy on, on Snubble on the bench. Which infers that he has a Guzma. So he will, 
he will probably be getting a knockout next turn. So Manny just plays Cynthia, so he's gonna shuffle and draw six cards. We are gonna see Energy on Pacifloth and passes. That's not looking good for Jack for Manuel. Alright, we are gonna see the Guzma play, like I had predicted. Even though I was there and I saw the whole matchup. So if you did a Ranguru, we do see Apricon Maker. Oh, you played Guzma. So please take that back. So they're determining what's gonna happen. Cause he did pick up his deck. He almost initiated search, but I think that was Chris that was right next to him, caught it and said, Hey, like you can't do that. <laughs> I should have been watching this match, but I was playtesting expanded because I was trying to get expanded to practice for Anaheim, which that didn't play out either. Cause I still don't know what I'm playing and that's not good. But yeah. So they're kind of trying to deliberate what the ruling is. Maybe price penalties. Um, he didn't do it intentionally, you know. It's just, it's just how the cookie crumbled. But The good thing is both Yvonne and Chris are there, so they're both very knowledgeable when it comes to the rules. So yeah. Uh, so they called it as since he didn't he didn't actually look at his deck, so they called it as a uh, it's okay it happens. <laughs> so yeah, so we do see him attack uh, the Pacifolot, but he still a card had cards in hand, so not doing a ton of damage. We do see energy switch from. Uh, manual and we are gonna see a Cynthia more than likely gonna get a knockout of this scramble That is what you want to do. You also want to take care of that Oranguru because that Oranguru is very annoying And you're drawing six Energy and Aganadel ultra space For Naganadel Uh, does confuse it and burn it and Jackie rolls tails I guess Manuel went for that play because he knows he has um, the Jackie just has apricot maker uh, but giving Jackie a turn to set up is probably not the best thing you can do Jackie gonna go for an ultra ball and a nest ball We're going to see energy on Snubble on the bench. Nest ball. For Slugma. Hey, it's a different Slugma. Hmm. I didn't know he played two versions of Slugma. Or wait, yeah, he explained it. No, oh, never mind. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Talking to myself. Ranguru for one. And we do, are going to see an Ultra Ball. Goes for another Ranguru. And ends up passing. 
uh, attacks and gets a knockout, even under confusion, out of Void Jackie. Uh, it's still affected by burn, so it has taken burn damage. <clears throat> now we are going to see Nagana Dill's effect put an energy on it. You see Ultra Space. Going for Pacephalop. Pacephalop? Whatever. Lollipop. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, energy on the Lollipop. Sophilis, discard two, draw four. I'm seeing Ultra. Or beast energy or beast ring, sorry. Oh. And trying to man is trying to figure out where he wants to put these energies. Going on the cake pop. Alright, it's gonna retreat. Goes into cake pop. Uh, removes two energies, gets a knockout on the ground ball. Uh, Vols the ground ball, puts a choice pen on it, Rangaroo for two. Apricon Maker. Goes for Nest Ball. And Great Ball? Or double, double Nest Ball. Oh, he had an Ultra Ball in hand. Okay, good. My Cargo. Into Ditto or McCargo for Ultra Ball, Ditto for uh, Nest Ball. McCargo puts a card on top of his deck, gets a knockout on the Lollipop. And just like that, the match turns around. Uh, manual Ultra Space for. Uh, Cake pop. We're gonna see Ultra Ball for manual. Not sure what he'll go for. His bench is full. Going for Naganadel maybe. Another cake pop. Nope. Lele. Uh, Naganadel using both of its abilities to get energies onto it from the discard pile. Energy on Cake Pop. We're going to see Guzma brings up Rangaroo. And ends up passing. So draws a cargo for one. Rangaroo for one. A cargo for another card. You see switch. And then gets the ultra ball and gets a knockout. And that is it, guys. Jackie ends up winning the Baldwin Park League Cup. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video with anybody that wants to see how the finals at the Baldwin League Cup ended for standard. Guys, thank you guys for watching. In a couple, in a little bit, I'll be posting up the deck profile from Jackie himself. So stay tuned for that. That'll be up later today. Like always, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.